So friends, welcome to House of Tech English. In this particular video, I'm going to tell you how to extract audio from video in your Mac. Now for this process, you don't have to install any third party application. I'm going to guide you through each and every step. Before that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. So I have already taken a reference video. We are going to extract audio from this video, but let me play it for you first. So friends, if you're trying to connect AirTag with your iPhone, but you are getting an error message saying that the battery. So yeah, this is the reference video and the application which we are going to use to extract audio is QuickTime Player. Now this application by default is already present in your Mac, but if in case you have uninstalled it, then you can go to App Store and search for it. Now, all you have to do is just simply double tap on the video and open this video in QuickTime Player. But if you have already selected any other video player as your default player, then you can right click on the video, select open with option and then select QuickTime Player. Now, once you open the video in QuickTime player, then all you have to do is just simply go to file option on the menu bar. And once you open file, select export as. Now in export as there are multiple options, but we have to select audio only. Now, once we select audio only, then you have to select the destination where you want to save that particular file and you can also rename that file. So we are going to rename it as audio test and we are going to save it on desktop. And once everything is done, simply select save option. Now it's done. So if I close QuickTime player, now you can see we have the extracted audio over here. Now, if I play it. So friends, if you're trying to connect AirTag with your iPhone, but you are getting an error message saying that. So yeah, this is how simple it is to extract audio from any video present in your Mac. And it's the default process. So you don't need to install any third party application for this. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.